I'll have to see these. Um, so these are the uh, Frank Mueller, um, where we, we got the Vanguard skeleton color dreams here. Yes. And then what, what do we have there? And then this is the Las Vegas. I don't know that they this from the Las Vegas, but it's in the Curvex case. Um, just a, a really cool watch. Yeah, oh my gosh. We'll, we'll talk about some, some silliness that, that Frank Mueller is famous for, and, and right. it just makes it so much fun. Yeah, but this this is, gosh, it, it's almost, you know, kind of leaves me a little speechless here when you're looking at it, like you just want to keep watching it. You know, the, the skeleton view is fantastic. And you said these are, what are the components made of in this watch? So the case itself is made of carbon. Okay. Right? They, they have a, a proprietary way to make this Vanguard case out of pressed carbon. Uh, kind of carbon fiber um, makes it really lightweight but really strong uh, and then they they grow and cut their own crystals in-house to give it this very specific shape shape right uh, and then those bridges in there are made out of uh, anodized aluminum okay um, to get that that kind of very distinct very rich color mm, right uh, they, they machine each of those bridges um, out of that out of that billet of that anodized aluminum really and it all of those components are so lightweight because mm -hmm. as I'm putting this on my wrist, like I don't even feel it there. Right. Like it's it's a very large watch. That's big. It's, uh, but it's, it's got a presence. It's got a presence. Um, obviously, when you're buying a watch like this, you want people to see mm -hmm. it, right? It, it's you know a statement piece, but it doesn't feel like it. It's not heavy. Right. It's not thick. That you're you know weighed down by it. Like this is so lightweight. It's it's incredible that you can have a watch of this size with these kind of specs, and it's just. Yeah. I mean, Frank Mueller just has been so innovative. I mean, they call him the master of complications right. for a reason. For a reason, yeah. Right? He, he's been so innovative with his complications, his materials, his style. I mean, yeah. no, no, you know, there are very few people that operate in the watch world that have this amount of kind of case design yeah. and style to their watches. Right. There's a few, mm -hmm. but not many. Right. Not and it's, many. it's very rarefied air. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. You're talking Richard Mio and stuff like that. Um, and then not only did he. You know come up with really cool materials for this mm -hmm. right and and the color dream series by frank Mueller is just i mean it's fun it's whimsical it's, yeah. it's in your face but it's so well known that you see it and you immediately know it's something special right right but with this one and this is all mechanical a lot of his watches are automatic okay this right. one is only manually only, wound because wow. he didn't really want to have to mess with a big rotor and stuff to 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 take off any of the uh, the aesthetics of this because right. you can see all the way through those bridges right to your arm. I was gonna say yeah, I mean, and, and then, in the back too. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah, no rotor there because obviously it's it's just mechanical. And then this this one has a seven day power reserve. Really, so you don't have to wind it once a week. I have never heard of that yeah. in a mechanical timepiece. Right. That's it's 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 fun. And so he wants he, he wanted something that would be usable, enjoyable, yeah. right. distinct. Yeah. But still, his kind of avant-garde, mm -hmm. devil-may-care right. attitude, uh, and, and I think he, he really pulled it off with this one. I really think so, and I love yeah, it's right there, master of complications. I love that. Wow, wow, fantastic, very cool. So tell me a little bit about this one. This is so, this is something special. Yeah, so this is the Las Vegas, and, and this one's fun. At first glance, it looks like a pretty traditional. Well, to use the word traditional, traditional yeah, I was gonna say, in the same sentence is, is pretty yeah. rough, right? Yeah. So right. you look like you know what you're looking at, right? Like it's got an hour hand and a minute hand and a third hand. And most watches have a third hand, but this third hand is something different. The only function it serves is as a roulette wheel. So as you're pushing on the crown, you'll notice that third hand, the one with the white tip, plays roulette. Hit a black 20. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... I mean, this is this is obviously a fun complication. Yeah. Uh, I personally have never seen a complication that's just a roulette wheel. I this is not a date indicator. This is not. I mean, we see we see complications of watches like altimeters. Yeah, right. We see complications GMTs, things like that. But a roulette wheel, now that's something fun. That's right. Special, yeah. Uh, and so this is you know this is for your high roller. This yeah. is for if you are a high roller, right. you want to be a high roller. Right. Right. right? All right. Um, but it's just, it's so fun. Now, now Frank takes such special care of all of his dials. You can, as you, as you kind of look, you see the depth of the colors in this dial. Oh yeah. Uh, there's at least seven layers of lacquer on every color that he does. Really? And they have to dry for days and days and days between and they're hand done. And so that's why, and I don't know that the camera can get that depth, but in person, 
it just almost looks like there's a, a backlight behind those colors. Yeah. They're, they're just so vibrant. They're yeah, very vibrant and, and you, there's even a little bit of texture to the to the dial itself mm -hmm. too that you you can yeah, see when you get those, real close to it. All of those are hand painted into C's. I mean everything is is really uh, done as a work of art. Hmm. As a, a very serious attention to detail when, when Frank Mueller makes a watch. Uh, and so this particular one's in stainless steel. Uh, you know, he'll do it in platinum, he'll do it in rose gold, he'll do it in white gold. Uh, and so, it really, what, what the, Frank's pretty good at tailoring a watch to kind of your, right. as, the, as, you know, the personality. Right. You know, that's that's yeah, his I, thing. It's funny you say personality, because that's, that's what I see when I, when I look at this watch. It just screams personality. Like, I can think of, of several high rollers who, like, mm -hmm. this, is what, this is what they would wear yeah. in this exact combination, because it just... It has such flair and such personality. I, I would almost go as far as to guarantee it, like this year's World Series of Poker, yeah. somebody was wearing a Frank Miller oh, Las Vegas. I bet. Wow. It's probably somebody who's done pretty well at it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. probably. <laughs> it's not their first time at the table. Right, yeah. Wow. That is so fun. Red three? Yep. There you go. Congrats. Wow, yeah. <laughs> wow, that is so cool. These are absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, you got, you got to come and see these because seeing them in person is, is next level. It's it's something to see, you know, videos, see, you know, photos online, but just looking at it in person is just phenomenal. Yeah, Frank, and, and Frank Mueller's been making fun watches for a long time, but he just every year does, does something over the top, does yeah. something better. Does, right. I mean, he just keeps, and the company just keeps pushing themselves to to innovate to that next level, to, right. really, to really stay kind of bleeding edge. Uh, and that's what's so much fun about you know partner with Frank Mueller mm -hmm. is that that you're kind of on the on the edge of all of that and you right. get to see it and you get to to be here. So yeah, come see it in person for sure. Yeah.